against Providence, and that kind of shook them a little bit. Went on to lose the next three games, only scored a goal in each of those games. So at home here tonight, you want to score often and early. He's going to face some quality chances here tonight. The Western Michigan Broncos so far this season, they have outscored their opponents 27-20 overall, but they've been outscored in the first period 6-3. Unfortunately, right on cue, they find the back of the net, and we talk about how important it is to get out to good. Isn't able to, to get a break over the weekend in Grand Forks, but the Pioneers now with an opportunity as Mazur slides it across, and they score! Some contact there. Cameron Wright was able to get that around. Brandon Bussey and Denver's tied it. There for Brink. Bobby cycling around. Bobby into the slot. A deflected shot. Still loose in front. Trying to close the pads. And Bussey is able to keep it out. Final minute of regulation here in period number one. Not a regulation in total, but here in period number one as Western Michigan a goal in the opening minute of this contest. Pioneers tied it up. Short time after Drew Warad steps in and scores. Holy cow. What a move by Drew Warad. Western Michigan's got a two to one lead. Well, you make a gamble like me, you did right there. You can't miss. You gotta come across. You have to catch something of the body. So right here, boom, goes for the hip check. Gets dangled, he's gonna want that one back. In that play, even if you miss with your hip, you've gotta get your elbows or your shoulders. Kind to Western Michigan all time as Carter Savoy whips a shot and winged it just wide of the sophomore goalie, Brandon Bussey. And now another opportunity, got it across, wide open! Savoy scores, we're all tied up! Goal. Jack Devine, who took a big step forward in the second period of Saturday night's game at North Dakota, according to his head coach. And oh man, that one slipped through, and Rizzo's on the backside to score it and give Denver the lead for the first time tonight. Trend is here comes Cameron right forward, right able to slide it across, and an opportunity here dancing in Rizzo's backhander. Puck is still loose, and I believe trapped between the left skate and that near side post as some extracurriculars after the whistle will bring us to a halt. What Holy a save! Cow. What a save! 1451 to go in the second period, and Denver with a lightning quick start to period number two has a three to two. Lead. Bring to it again. Western Michigan's doing a good job just kind of trapping things down in front of Bussey as Barron's through traffic, just wide, a rebound, and Carter Mazur scores, and there it is, it's Fortin. To Josh Passolt, who gets it back up top now onto the stick of Adder. Once more, Passolt with it. Circling around the top of the circle, that toe drag again, and he shoots and scores. You just mentioned it, that is a devastating move. Basil comes through with 10 seconds left on the power play as Denver's penalty kill fails to kill off another one. Easy for us to see up here. We've seen it, what, 30 seconds ago? You know the toe drag's coming. Don't take the bait. Now, is that a sweet play? Great hands. Oh, yeah. That's, that's 10 out of 10. Good. A lot of poise right here. But you know that's going to be his move, and that is top shelf. We're mum. By Cedric Fiedler. Couldn't connect immediately with Michael Joyall, but now Western Michigan does break free with it. Fiedler, great feed through his legs, dancing in front, and Crone is able to make the stop. Puck still loose, far side. My goodness, Ty Glover had a gold. Gutman up top, finds Barons once more. Now over to Brink, Bobby dancing in. Creates room, Savoy rifles and scores! It's 5-3 in the third! Tyler, that's some of the best puck movement on a power play that I have seen. But Lost there for the Pioneers. Carter Savoy, great move to get it there to Gutman, and then it's taken away by the Broncos and a great outlet pass. Here comes Max Sasson down the far side. Sasson drags in, and a save made by Krona, who slides in to keep And you think to yourselves, all right, we may be headed toward overtime in a game like this, but two goal lead, 2.05 to go. We'll see how that first Weiler plays these last couple of minutes. And now a chance for the Pioneers as it's sliding across. Oh my goodness. Jack Devine put it right on Ryan Barrow's stick, and Bussy was there again. That was a great.